KOB4 News at 6.30. I sincerely suspect that they will never investigate this crime. They will never pursue the people that stole things, and it will never be solved. Well, it's safe to say he does not have a lot of faith in the criminal justice system around here. But after you hear what this small business owner has been through recently, you may understand why. Ryan, you went out to talk to this guy. So what do you have to say? Well, Scott Cloninger is a small business owner and his business was growing. He mm -hmm. actually had to move his location from the west side to a bigger location. And now after investing thousands into his new building, he's worried he could lose everything. Scott Cloninger tries to get motorcycles out the door. Most of the guys that really, really ride long distance prefer something exactly like this. This is his passion. He took his retirement money to start his own motorcycle business. So you'll notice an empty rack. However, the empty hangers, shelves, and apparel displays are not because of a successful start to the shopping season. This is a professional thief. Motopia, New Mexico, just north of the Walmart on Carlisle, looks like it'd be tough to break into. Yeah. The hole in the wall shows it took some effort and planning. So they simply broke into the one that's in the, the, uh, the landlord's space. A broken window, a ripped out wall, and thieves were in sometime last weekend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the guys that were in here this time were the same people that were in here two weeks ago. There are cameras, however. All the recording equipment was located on that shelf. The recording box disappeared along with one dirt bike and what he estimates is $50,000 worth of other merchandise. But what really makes him mad? They couldn't even be bothered to send an officer to this location. He says this last time, the police never showed up. APD says because there was no offender information for the second incident, the telephone reporting unit took the report. How does it make you feel? It's worthless. Now he's hired 24 seven security, a cost he says is unsustainable. My mayor tells me that I need to pay for security. I'll tell you what, mayor, I got a promise for you. Stop charging me taxes, business licenses, building permits, all the nonsense you hit me with every year, and I'll see what I can do about paying for that. Meanwhile, I'm paying you. Why don't you provide my security? If this keeps happening, I'll have no choice but to close. Frustration over a problem he sees as a symptom of criminals going without consequences. The people of New Mexico and of Albuquerque have got to get a little angry about some things and decide they need change. Now, Cloninger says APD did show up after that first break in. Mm -hmm. They even dusted for fingerprints and an APD spokesperson says detectives are waiting for that evidence to be processed and then they're going to be in touch with the business owner. They also say they'll offer him a free security assessment because his business has been hit multiple times. I don't think that really sounds like it's going to um, ease his concerns. Don't want to speak for him, but we'll follow up, of course, to see if anybody's going to be held accountable for what he's going through. It's awful.